The world economic meltdown is hitting poorest countries the hardest. Zambia, once a leading producer of copper in Africa, is suffering a dramatic decline in its major exports. Here's the story. Copper mining provides for more than 60% of Zambia's export earnings. This sector is the country's leading employer after the government. As the price of copper drops on the world market and investor financing dries up, Zambia's copper industry teeters on the edge of collapse. The National Union of Miners projects that as many as 12,000 workers in the industry will lose their jobs by March. Economist Bob Sichinga blames the government. I would expect that government would have put together a very powerful team and say to them, concentrate on this issue, come up with alternatives and look at the practical applications of what we're talking about so that we can salvage our country. More than 3,000 workers have already lost their jobs in recent months. International firms are bailing out of Zambia pending review. Zambia's Minister of Mines, Maxwell Mwale, says the mining sector recorded growth last year and calls on investors to keep workers on their jobs. We will not take it kindly that they should be retrenching our people for this, and they call it cost-cutting. We will not take it kindly as a government. They should demonstrate that they're able to cost cut in areas which we know as a government they can do better. Job losses in mining are felt all around, spreading fear. Alison Hualima runs a store in the Copper Belt. The question is, what is going to happen? Because even now what we see is purchasing of more school items than any other product in the shop, which gives us a scare. Zambia's President Rupia Banda sees hope in Chinese and Indian investors who seem willing to take over operations being abandoned by other firms. The government is delaying higher taxes on mining and says it might also consider nationalizing some shuttered copper operations in order to save jobs. Vincent McCory, VOA News.